Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. You're back with the Midwest Express. It is Sunday morning. I have just uh, finished up uh, five different baggage deliveries for Rody this morning. Ended up being like $128. A rally day for Rody morning. Uh, a plane with a whole bunch of luggage did not arrive on time. So this morning it was the first thing. So I ended up canceling my Grubhub orders and uh, or at least my scheduled block and uh, jumped on this one. So that was a good three hour run to knock out those uh, deliveries. But since we're talking about Roadie today, I wanna continue on, answer some of the customer uh, questions that came up lately. And one was from Richard Fry and he asked, he said, I have a question about personal orders. Can customers adjust tips on these orders? I'm in Indianapolis and we have these come in on a daily basis. Most of them are around 60 bucks, but it has you doing a task for a customer and spending your own moolah, and it's covered by a $50 tip that you have to spend half of that on. Now, with the trip fee and remaining tip that you are left with, about 25, 35 bucks, has anyone ran into uh, taking uh, these orders? I'm very skeptical because uh, he's concerned about Rody reducing the tips. And I have not had any issues with uh, tip baiting when it comes to Rody. Walmart, yes. And I kind of avoid the Walmart orders unless they're stackable. So when I do Rody, I kind of stay in the Rody lane. The big ones for me with Rody are Best Buy and the airport and Home Depot. And to be honest, I don't see that many tips on most of those orders. I've had personal orders uh, in the past where I picked up car parts and take them to places to be mailed and UPS stores, but I have never been tip baited at all by Rody and uh, Richard. I would say check it out, do one. If it happens to you, then you know to avoid them, but, but I would not fear them out of that alone. Uh, next, I had a question about and it was from the familia de la cruz it says how can i claim tolls that are cross with easy pass if the toll transaction has not been clarified when i complete the delivery so uh, this unfortunately is the modern day we live in when it comes to these toll roads so for me, Wisconsin, we don't have toll roads, but when I go down to Illinois, we do. And when I have to go on the Illinois toll roads, I have my plates registered with the state of Illinois and they will send me a receipt in the mail and give me the date that I traveled through and how much the toll fee was. You have up to 15 days after a delivery with Rody to claim anything like toll roads and parking or whatever fees that you need to, to put onto that order. But it's really important that the day you do the order, make sure you write down the order number that you did with Rody so that you can claim that. And then you could just email it in uh, to uh, support at Rody.com and uh, they should add it into your account and they will respond back. And you have up to 15 days. You don't want to dilly dally around with that. But if you're using easy pass, you should be able to go on and pull up your account and look at it. Hopefully you get some value out of this content. And make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll hit you on the next one.